Peter's Falls. It's somewhere I've always wanted to come and you can see why. It's such a beautiful, majestic place. It's this gorgeous natural swimming pool in Nipmaluk National Park, about 60 kilometres away from Catherine. And it's always a nice idea to come here in the early morning when it's a little cooler because it can get quite hot here up in the Northern Territory and when there's less people. So I thought it was only appropriate that I make a delicious breakfast item. This is going to be a pineapple and banana trifle with a lemon myrtle yogurt. Now let's get onto the flavoured yogurt. I always like to flavour my own yogurts because you can control how sweet you make it and what flavours you add to it. So, some classic Greek yogurt. I'll add some lemon myrtle. It's a native leaf that's been cold dried and then ground and it's cold dried so you get that intense perfume. It's almost like a combination of lime and lemon. It's got a sweetness to it too. I love using it, particularly in dairy foods. So just like this in yogurt. So I'll add about half a teaspoon in there along with some passion fruit. I love the tang of passion fruit. So I'll cut that in half. And then I'll just squeeze out all of those yummy seeds and then I'll give it a mix. And I'll also have a taste of it. You know, you could do this ahead of time, even two or three days ahead of time, and it'll take on even more of the perfume of that lemon myrtle. All right. Mm, that is so sweet. So let's put that to the side. While we get onto another component of this trifle, we need texture in here, so some crunch. And I'm going to get that from some good old digestive biscuits you can get from all your supermarkets. I love taking these away when I'm on the road because it's so versatile. So it's going to be the base of a coconut crunch. Place it in a Ziploc bag just like this. And now using something heavy to crush this, I'm going to use a pan, just break it up until we've got some crumbs. Turn it over, do it again. All right, look at that. Instant crumbs. And we'll put the pan on the heat, on a medium heat, not too hot because you need to give it time to slowly toast off the coconut so it doesn't burn. If it's too high, there's going to be blackened quite quickly. These are just coconut flakes that you get from your supermarket, but you can also do this with fresh coconut and you could also do it with desiccated coconut. So we'll add that first, a nice handful, along with our digestive biscuits. Just pour them in. Toss that around and don't walk away from it. Keep an eye on it when you're doing this so we get a gorgeous, even colour on it. To bring out the flavours of this, I'll add a pinch of salt. And then just to accentuate that flavour of the lemon myrtle, I'll add another pinch of that to our crunch. All right, while that's happening, let's get on with the syrup that's going to coat all of our tropical vegetables. So in a bowl, I'll add some sugar syrup. This is just a combination of caster sugar and some water. I've brought it to the boil, and then once it's boiled and thickened up just ever so slightly, I've taken it off and cooled it down. You could also use honey for this, it works a treat. Just put a little bit of warm water in it. So I'll add that to a bowl. And for some flavours, some ginger. I love ginger. The best way to peel ginger is to grab a teaspoon and just use it to take away that thin, papery skin. See how easy it comes off? And by doing that, we're getting in the nooks and crannies. And you only want to take away the skin from the area that you're using. Don't peel the whole thing. And it'll last much longer in the fridge. Now using a fine grater, I'll grate that in to our sugar syrup, perfect. And the zest of half a lime. I'll also use some of the juice of this lime. So we'll cut that in half. And I only need half of this lime, squeeze that into the bowl. Perfect, all right. Now some lemongrass. All of the flavour in the lemongrass is in this section of the stalk. It's so aromatic, it does have that citrus balmy flavour and the best way to use it, particularly in this context, is to finely grate it so it's not too fibrous. And I want about half a teaspoon. Alright, I'm going to just toss this crunch, I can smell it toasting away, it's looking good. The last thing I'll add to this sugar syrup is some cayenne pepper. 
sounds very bizarre to add some heat to this, but by adding the cayenne pepper, it works so nicely with the pineapple and it'll accentuate its sweetness. So you just need the smallest amount. You don't want it to overpower, you don't want it for its spiciness. What we're doing is getting some warmth out of it. All right, sugar syrup is flavoured. We'll put that to the side. And now just for some chopping of the pineapple. I want this to be super fine so we can really see the distinction in all the layers. So I'll finally chop the pineapple and also some banana. my time to finally chop everything. It looks great. So now we can add it to our sugar syrup. I'll just push that to the side and then we'll add that to the mixture. Look, you can put whatever you like in your fruit salad. I like those yellow tones, so that's why I've kept it super simple with pineapple and banana. All right, now let's give that a mix. Coat that in all the ginger and the lemongrass, the cayenne pepper. Oh, it smells fantastic. All right, so we've got our fruit salad component done. The yogurt is done. And have a look at this digestive biscuit and coconut crunch. Look how toasted it is. That is fantastic. And now to assemble this, well, I'm using just a clear glass so you can see all the defined layers. I like to start with the fruit salad. We'll pop that in there, getting some of those juices. Then I'll add some of the coconut crunch. And our lemon myrtle yogurt. Mix that up one more time. And I'm just gonna pour it in from this plastic container just so we don't get any spills. And we're gonna continue the process. The local indigenous people call this place Lei Lin and I was speaking to one of the locals recently and they were telling me how much the water rises in the wet season. That sheer amount of water, I tell you what, it would be amazing to be here in the wet season to see that waterfall in action and all of that water cascading down. It'd be unbelievable. All right, to finish off this beautiful trifle, some more yogurt over the top. And depending on what type of glass you use, you can do many different layers for this. And then finally, some crunch over the top. And just to keep it really fresh and vibrant, some mint, a few leaves I'll pick off. And just tap it in your hands. And by doing that, we're releasing some of the oils. Then break it up instead of chopping it. And just pop that on the top. And hopefully, if it's not too windy where you are, it'll stay in its position, stay. Perfect. <laughs> All right, that's my trifle, brekkie trifle. It's a lovely way to start the day. This is the perfect setting for this gorgeous brekkie just before I start a big day of swimming and hiking near the Edith Falls. I'm a lucky lady, aren't I?